guys, Kavya here. Welcome back to my channel, Kavya Edits. As you can tell by the title, today I'm back with another reading vlog, and this time we're gonna be finishing the pre series by Sarah Simone, and we're gonna be reading the last book in the series, which is Saint. Now, the only thing I know about this book is that it's about Aiden and it's about Elijah, and also it's definitely oh, is that? I can't should I compare. I thought it was thicker than Sinner. I don't know, I think they're the same. It's definitely thicker than this. Oh, they're the same. All right, I was expecting this to be thick. I don't know why. But anyways, Saint. Know nothing about this except the fact it's about the fourth? The third? No, because there's another Bell Brother, but he doesn't have a book. It's about the third Bell Brother, Aiden, and it's about Elijah, who is the previous book, Sinner's heroine's brother. I've done a reading long so if you want to check that out, you can go. But yeah, so now that, let's read the blurb first to like get the gist of things. Um, because I haven't read it yet. I haven't read anything, and yeah, let's just see what this book is at. It would take a saint to resist Elijah Everson. Aiden was the last person in the world anyone expected to become a monk. <laughs> I knew this, but I'm still surprised. I read this in the back of dinner, but brain just melted. I don't know. I didn't realize anyways but the decision saved his life and he's determined to do it right even if it's taken him from his millionaire party boy lifestyle and the love of his life elijah everson four plus years haven't made letting elijah go any easier but at least aiden hasn't come to face to face with those whiskey eyes and soft mouth since he left that is until elijah shows up on his doorstep assigned to accompany aiden on a european monastery road trip to an article he's writing the pool is still there between them, but Aiden knows he can't have Elijah back. He broke his heart when he left, and now Elijah's engaged to some... Fuck off. <laughs> now Elijah's... Can you come down? Engaged to someone else. Aiden chose God. He chose his vows, except between whispered confessions and stolen kisses and moments bent over an ancient altar. These vows are feeling flimsier by the day. Vows or not, it will take a saint to resist Elijah. And Aiden's sure as hell no saint. Are any other Bell brothers? But first of all, I know this is brother's best friend because Elijah is Sean's best friend. I did not know this was second chance romance. So what I was expecting from Sinna to be this to be in the same timeline as Sinna, everything is in Ada's point of view and Elijah's. I did not expect this to be five years later. <gasps> I'm gonna see Zanny and Sean's baby. I'm gonna finally find out what the fuck happened to Poppy's baby. Because hello, where's the baby? Like I didn't, I need to know what's happening with my other couples, but oh, I'm really excited with this for this book. I'm really excited for Aiden and Elijah. Um and yeah, let's without further ado. Oh, disclaimer, this is a spoiler full vlog. I don't know how to just non-spoiler vlog. I just don't want to do them. So if you have not read this book or you're going to read it and you don't want to get spoiled, this video is probably not for you. But yeah, anyways, but that now, without further ado, let's get into the reading part. Okay, uh, before reading this, there's a trigger warning in this book about suicide depression um or well, attempt or like thoughts of suicide and also like the brief mention of sexual abuse of a child if that triggers you either don't read this book and don't watch this vlog because i probably will talk about it so if that is a trigger um i'm warning you in advance and yeah tell me why i just finished chapter one and already my heart's beating for you here she goes it's been four years and six months of clawing myself free from a love I swear I still feel in my guts and in my marrow. It's been four years and six months of trying to let Elijah Iverson go. I, you guys, I can feel this book ripping me apart. I just, I just, I just read chapter one, like, and it was like two pages, and I, I can feel me dying. Like, yeah, this book, I might not make it. I might not make you guys, but I can already feel the tears. And I'm, I don't know why. <laughs> so Aiden just said, 
I've grown to like the sound of my voice less and less over the years. Why does that make me emotional? That's... Oh. Tyler and even Sean told me about Aiden, like told us about Aiden. He's like another Sean. They're like the business brothers, right? But like he's he's impulsive and he doesn't. And now he's like a completely different person. I feel I don't know. I feel sad for him. But we did get the first mention of Sean. So yeah, but like no, it just goes that. Sean would hang up on me sometimes so much because Aiden used to talk that so much, but now he hates his own voice. Well, no, he doesn't hate it, but he he's, he's like, he likes silence more. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know, it's weird from what everything I've heard from Tyler and Sean to see Aiden like this. I don't know, it's probably just me. First of all, someone's here to meet. Aiden, and it's a he, and I have a feeling it's Elijah, but that's not what I want to talk about. Uh, <laughs> I'm sad this is not happy. Aiden just goes, I, uh, he, there's only four he's who will visit me at present, my three brothers and my father. I wonder if Sean has brought a baby from his growing baby pile for me to hold while he updates me on the family gossip. <laughs> baby pile. <laughs> that, that. That means that my baby Zenny and Sean are happy and in love and have a huge family. And you know what? That makes my heart so full and so happy. Also, but I don't think it's Sean. I have a feeling it's Elijah. But and it's it's funny because Aiden just had a dream about Elijah. You know the, that kind of dream, but oh my god. I'm so happy for Zenny and Sean. If there was any doubt in my mind that Elijah and Aiden were going to break my heart, that doubt is cleared because they're definitely going to break my heart. So I was right. It wasn't Sean. As much as I love to be Sean, it was actually Elijah. And he came to tell. <laughs> you can tell. If I'm sad, I don't tend to cry. I try to laugh. It's a me thing. It's a weird thing, but it's a me thing. I'm really sad. You couldn't tell. Because I'm laughing. But trust me, I'm sad. Because Elijah just came to tell Aiden that he's engaged. And he's going to get married soon. To Jamie. Look, and now, I don't know this Jamie. He could be the perfect man in this world. But I already hate him. And that's because I'm a Elijah and Aiden shipper. Not because Jamie's a bad person. He could be. Or he could be the best person ever. I don't know. Despite that, am I biased towards Aiden and Elijah? Despite Aiden being the one who left? Yes. Elijah goes, I loved you for a long time after you left. I thought you should know that. And then Aiden goes, he doesn't have to say the next part because I already know. I already know he doesn't love me anymore. The next part, it seems like from the notebook of Elijah ever since. It's like I know something he wrote because he's now a writer. And in that notebook, I bet if he he's still in love with Aiden. Because if I don't, I might have a mental breakdown. And I'm also very hungry. I haven't had breakfast. So I'm like hangry. So I might like have a mental breakdown because of my hunger and because of Elijah actually not being in love with Aiden. Because that's not possible. If these two don't get the happy ending, if this is the couple that does not get the happy ending, oh. Uh uh. Uh uh. Okay. It was the very, it was like two pages of writing. But Aiden did not admit he still loves Elijah. Uh, no, Eli opposite. Elijah did not admit he still loves Aiden, but he did say. Why can't I stop thinking about how quiet it is? Why can't I stop thinking about his shoulders? I did what I went there to do. I told him about Jamie, about the wedding. I successfully instigated closure. Nothing feels closed. Why can't I stop thinking about? And, but the nothing feels closed and why can't I stop thinking about is like, he meant to say Aiden, but he stopped. Again, he crossed it out. He doesn't want to admit 
that he's in, still in love with Aiden. That's what's happening. I figured it out. My heart's breaking for Aiden. He's literally in the middle of the rain in the ground crying his eyes out and he goes I love him so much and it hurts and I want it to stop please Lord if you love me make it stop <sighs> I have no words like I don't know what to say but like okay first of all I would like to say I don't know how to pronounce his name, but there's two people, Thomas and Titus, I think. I love them. I absolutely love them. Everything about them, they literally made, like, they saw um, Aiden, like, vacuuming, and he looked kind of sad, and my camera was tilted. But then, and then they had, like, bouncy balls, and they convinced Aiden to, like, start bouncing on the balls. And it was, like, Aiden was having fun, and I just, I felt happy that someone could make Aiden happy, you know, I don't know when Aiden's happy, I'm happy. Also, <laughs> the end of this chapter, Elijah's back for the second time. And <laughs> as soon as Aiden sees him, he falls from the wall and right on the feet of Elijah Everson. <laughs> oh my god, Elijah! I think this time, the first time I thought he was for the magazine whatever was it yeah a science company on a year of road trip i think i thought but i think last but this time he's actually here for the road trip i thought that was the last time the last time he was here for closure and now i think he's this time he's here for the road trip and i also think this is going to complicate things between aiden elijah and jamie i cannot wait cannot freaking wait Okay, so turns out I was wrong. He's not here for the European road trip. I that is happening because it was in the blurb. But he uh, Elijah's here for a week, <laughs> and uh, Aiden or brother pa Pat Patrick, as they call him, is assigned to like accompany him, be his guide, and everything. And poor Aiden, he for the life of him cannot look at Elijah. He like feels like his heart is breaking and I just he goes um look at me he repeats and I can't take it anymore I can't the need for him now is stronger than any survival instincts I've ever had I look <laughs> and then the next the first line in the next chapter is Elijah saying is it really so awful having me here and I'm like <laughs> Oh my god, one week, Aiden and Elijah. These two are not surviving. This is gonna either... Well, they both missed. That's obvious. I don't have to be in Elijah's POV to know that Elijah is still in love with, like, Aiden. He just refuses to, like, admit it because he's engaged and he's committed. But despite that, he is still in love. Um, And also, we know Aiden's still in love with Elijah. So I think this one week together is like gonna like convince them like it's gonna i don't know i don't know actually you know what i don't know what i'm saying it's gonna do something and then they're gonna get on the road trip together and then that's gonna like make them like jamie who even though he might be the nicest person in this lot in this world but like he needs to go because i need to aid and elijah you guys, you guys, you guys, Elijah is staying in the room next to Aiden's. That, that is a recipe for disaster. Something disastrous is, like, like good disasters. Not bad disasters, but something disastrous can happen. And these two, I fall madly deeply in. <laughs> they just accidentally touched each other and both of them couldn't stop staring at their hands. Hello? They're so in love, they just... They just can't admit it because obviously Aiden left Elijah and Elijah's now engaged and it's too complicated. But I love it. I love complications. It's so good. <laughs> so after a few years, a few days of cooking or bubbling up, Elijah finally snapped. 
and I go and blame him for snapping because he's mad and ate and I was expecting him to snap. But it still hurt. He literally goes to Aiden. Aiden goes to um Elijah, I'm not hurting anyone by being in here. And then he goes, No, Elijah goes, No, you're not. Not anymore. <laughs> and then he goes, This is a waste of privilege, a waste of a life. You have blown a hole in the hearts of everyone who loved you for absolutely fucking nothing. And I hope it was worth it. I hope God was worth it. He's so hurt. Elijah is so hurt. I don't blame him. But I don't blame Aiden either. Like, oh. I feel sad for both of them. I see both their point of views. Uh, one thinks that if he's out in the real world, he's going to hurt people. The other thinks Aiden should have stayed because obviously he loves Aiden. And he's like, Aiden. And plus, Aiden never told Elijah the actual reason why he left. So Elijah just thinks he just stood up and left for no reason. So you can't blame Elijah for moving back. You can't blame Aiden for like, trying to get out. Oh, this is so complicated. <laughs> you guys, Elijah and Aiden nearly kissed. They didn't kiss, but they nearly kissed. After their fight, Aiden went and sat on a bench and he was waiting for the fly, 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 fireflies to show up. And then Elijah came in and he goes, can I sit? And he goes, yeah, sure, like sit. And then uh, he goes, what are you waiting for? And then he goes, just to wait and to wait. And then the firefighter, it's like, oh, magical. And then they both look at each other and they're lost in the moment. And they nearly can't see both leaning. But they he laughed and then they quickly, the trance is broken. And both of them are awkward as hell. But it's there. You guys, the chemistry, the longing, the love is there. And I need them to be together. I'm 106 pages in, and oh, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do anymore in my life. I think I'm gonna go watch a show, an Indian show, because I need drama. Like, I need like, what's it called? This is emotional, right? Like, this this makes me wanna cry. So now I need like ridiculousness which is good good ridiculousness so i'm gonna go watch something ridiculous and funny and hopefully romantic you know what i might watch something romantic so like this angst <laughs> i can gather the courage to read more because ah, oh, this is not easy <laughs> you guys <laughs> the next morning after they nearly kissed Elijah tell, tell just told Aiden that Jamie, his fiance, is now coming. I'm sorry. What? And Aiden is already so jealous. Did I say Aiden's name before? I'm like thinking, did I say Aiden? Whatever. Elijah tells Aiden that his fiance Jamie is coming. And Aiden has not met Jamie and he's already jealous. And now he's going to have to spend the day with Jamie and Elijah together in love. That's one of the worst kind of tortures. Seeing someone you love with someone else. And it's kind of your fault because you're the one who left. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is going to be very interesting and I cannot wait. I cannot wait. So, um... Aiden, uh, Elijah, Jamie, and a bunch of the brothers are sitting down and they're like drinking beer and telling stories. And then Elijah was like, Oh, uh, no, then one of the brothers was like, We still, uh, Brother Patrick, who's Aiden's name now, it goes, has never shown us his tattoo that we keep wanting to see. And then Elijah goes, You haven't shown them the hot flaming Cheeto Aiden tattoo, the, the hot, whatever, that tattoo. And then they start like having banter between them and I'm like I I love that. That just even though like we haven't really at all seen the old Aiden and Elijah, 
but just that was like a glimpse of them and i'm like if i can have that back i would love it the that brief moment when it wasn't brother patrick and a reporter it was literally aiden and elijah two people who are in love who will just want to be together and who knew everything about each other it was just those two and they were making fun of each other and they were arguing it was it was everything to me uh, also the fact that we just found out that aiden in order to become a monk monk i one another try uh he walked in his pajamas to the gift shop and she just said i want to be a monk Aiden, <laughs> in his pajamas, I would like to say, and but Elijah didn't know that, so now Elijah knows that Aiden was clearly going through something, and I'm hoping, slowly but surely, Elijah will get Aiden to open up, or Aiden will willingly open up to Elijah, because I need the fun bantering Elijah and Aiden, the, the glimpse I got of them, I need them back, like, preferably now, but I doubt, you guys. Aiden goes, um, as while I'm washing, my sleeves push to my elbows and my forearm slick with soap studs that I've realised I've seen that look before, the look Jamie was giving me outside. It's the same look Elijah gave Jesus on the cross after his first compline here. Jamie looked at me like he needed to make sure I was staying exactly where I'd been put. Jamie knows. Jamie knows if Aiden decides to come back to Elijah, or if Aiden just confesses his love to Elijah, if Aiden says anything to Elijah, Elijah's going back to Aiden. Jamie knows that. There's no way. I'm. Just, there's no absolute fucking way Aiden... No, no, Aiden, no. There's no absolute fucking way Jamie and Elijah are lasting. Aiden... And Elijah, even Jamie knows that Elijah, Jamie knows that Elijah is still in love with Aiden. I feel kind of bad for Jamie, but at the same time, I don't. Because, look, I've been shipping Aiden and um, Elijah since Sinner. So I'm like, we need to get this. So like, look, you might be a good guy, but you have not been there since Sinner or since priest either. I've known Aiden since priest. So it's like I am rooting for Aiden and I'll always root for Aiden because this is his book. So like Jamie just bye bye. Wonder of something. Oh my god. <laughs> you guys nearly not even, but this much pages later, a hundred and fifty pages later. Aiden and Elijah finally kissed. Now, yes, Elijah technically cheated on Jamie. Do I give a rat's ass? No. Does that make me a bad person? Maybe. Do I care? No. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just... I the... the way, like, Elijah was, like, he, he was raining and, like, he went to see him. Like, he went to find Aiden and he goes, like, I tried to, like, I came here for you. Like, I wanted to know why. Was I not good enough? Like, why did you leave? And then he goes, um, I thought you chose the church over me, but you didn't, did you? You chose God over me. And somehow that's worse than anything else I'd ever thought of because I can't compare with God, Aiden. I can't compete with fireflies in the cholesterol. Col col Blah, blah, not gonna try. I said coins. No, but my heart. And then Aiden admits he goes, I feel like, um, um, I've been thinking about you not just after you came back, since I came here. Like, I can't stop thinking about you. And they nearly, they nearly like go full out, but then. Elijah gets a call and it's Jamie's call and then they both like realization slams and then they're like shit and I'm like Jamie like you have the worst timing in this whole freaking world okay because now I feel like after this 
there's no way Elijah's is gonna stay, is he? He's gonna leave, and they're both gonna meet up in that mountain that the other thing that Eden's going to. It has to be, and that's where they're gonna like properly get together. But I don't know if this, this chapter, chapter. What is this chapter? A fucking. Oh, oh my god, hell up. Chapter twenty three. It might be my favorite chapter because the kid. Guys, the kiss was so hot. Like, it was just a make-out kiss, but it was... Ah! I'm done. You know what? I'm going to keep reading for 12 more minutes, and then... That's it. <laughs> you guys. Yeah. Oh, I'm not in focus. Hello? Yeah. Just as I predicted, Elijah left. I knew that was going to happen, but he left without a goodbye. And then Aiden goes, this is karma, because he never said a goodbye in the mind. I'm like, yeah, Aiden. This is karma from my heart. <sighs> and now, chapter 25, three weeks later, Aiden is leaving for the trip. And I have a sneaky suspicion, according to the blood of this book, Elijah's going to be there. And I have a sneaky suspicion. No matter what Elijah and Eden do, they're not going to be able to resist each other, especially considering the prologue, which I read, which was like, Elijah and Eden having sex. Well, not, 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 no, they weren't actually doing it, but like, they were intimate in the prologue, and it seems like the book is going to explain, slowly explain to me how they got to there. And I feel like I have a feeling how they got to there. I'm ready. I'm ready for this. But also, I'm like not even halfway. I'm nearly halfway there. And I still don't know, just like Elijah, why did Aiden leave? I know he, I think he was depressed. That much is obvious. But like, what happened that night? Like, I really want to know. And I know it's going to break my heart, but like, I need to know because I just need to know it. So I need to know that. Um, yeah, and I'm gonna read a little bit more. Oh, but holy shit, this book is so good, you guys. Serious Moon's writing is chef's kiss. Okay, when I said I know the fact that Elijah's gonna join Aiden on this trip, I did not expect him to want to. Like, I thought like his company's gonna forcefully send him, but turns out, um. Wait, here, it turns out, Mr. Everson has requested to accompany you on your trip. And then, for further research for his article, he asked last week, last week, he asked after he left, after the kids, to be with Aiden on Europe, to, in his trip to Europe. Elijah. Why do I have a feeling? I just, you know, I have a feeling. <laughs> Elijah's, I have a feeling Elijah's like, what if he and Jamie broke up? What if he has realized he's still in love with Aiden and he cannot not be with Aiden? Or what if he told Jamie, right, this is another thing, he told Jamie everything and Jamie suggested to this. But that way, how did Elijah know about this trip? How does Elijah know? And why does he want to come for the fact that he wants to go and go there? Ah, things are gonna get heated. I know for all fuck things are gonna get heated. And oh, I cannot wait. Cannot, cannot, cannot wait. Okay, part one of this book was Kansas, and now part two. Is Belgium. <laughs> so excited. I am so excited. Can you tell? I'm so excited. <laughs> Guys. Elijah just goes to Aiden. Um, because he Aiden asked why did you come back? Like, why did you come here? He didn't ask like specifically, he wanted to know if he came back. Like, why is he in Europe with him, right? And then he goes for answers, like always answers. And then they're leaving and they're like at their doors and Elijah turns to Aiden and he goes about the answers it's because every time I leave I have more questions and because every time I leave you the only thing I can think about is coming back <laughs> oh, 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 
them so much. Oh. Guys, Aiden just asked somebody to do you think about like the games we used to play, like, you know, because they were like the fun couple and they used to play games when they were like the what if game, like what if this, what if that, whatever. And then Elijah, after a moment of silence, he goes, I always think about them. These two, they are miserable without each other, but they can't do anything about it because Elijah's engaged. But I don't know why. I have a sneaky suspicion. I I have a feeling I'm wrong too, but I don't know. I just feel like Elijah isn't engaged anymore. Because while if you were engaged, right, and then you kissed your ex-boyfriend, why would after that kiss you come back to him despite you being engaged? What if he came clean to Jamie? And he's not engaged? It's a reach, I know, but at this point. Oh, they still also can I just like they are going into dangerous territory now because now they're starting to remember the past and they're alone exploring the woods. They are going to very dangerous territory now and then something's gonna happen. Something very hot's gonna happen. I I bet on it. Can't wait. It's honestly about time. We're like 193 pages in. I need something. Like, come on. <laughs> the moment Aiden and Elijah were alone in the cave, I knew something was gonna happen. And they started playing that what if game, that very dangerous what if game. I knew it. They did not do the devil's tango. But they did something else. And and Aiden asks Elijah, can you like can will you continue? And he goes, I can. So that just makes me believe I'm right. Elijah is no longer engaged, but he has not told Aiden. But then he goes to Aiden, can you? And obviously Aiden can't say I can't, because he can't. This is he knows he can't, but he goes, I will. But then at the end of the chapter, the moment breaks and Aiden's all awkward again. So cheers to that, Aiden. But finally something happened between them. I know this is just the start. I'm 200 pages in and I'm finally getting what I've been wanting. Ah, they're so cute. They're so angsty and I love everything about them. You guys, my suspicion was right. Elijah has broken up with Jamie, but Aiden doesn't know this because I just read a chapter in Elijah's POV where he's like writing in his notebook. He broke up with Jamie. I kind of figured that would happen. Also, the night Aiden left was the night Elijah was going to say their first I love you to him. I thought they already said it, but the night Aiden left with no explanation, nothing was the night Elijah was going to tell him he loves him. I want to die. <laughs> I'm happy that Elijah and Jamie broke up because, I mean, there's no cheating. But I'm sad that Elijah never got to tell Aiden that he loves him. And I hope, but I hope he tells him this time because Things between them are getting hot and steamy, and I think I'm losing my voice. Um, but yeah, I'm so happy. Guys, Elijah has a tattoo on his arm that says what if, but in Latin, and it has like the grid of the neighborhood like that Elijah and Aiden used to live in, and it was like the tree from his backyard. So it's like what if, like, I think it's obviously, it, it is about Aiden, it's like, what if he stayed? What if they were still together? <laughs> and Aiden just saw, saw the tattoo for the first time. And Elijah starting to ask questions about that night. What happened? Why it happened? Why did he leave? And I feel like very soon we're about to get our answers. And honestly, I'm ready. I'm ready for the answers because Aiden loves Elijah so much. And the fact that he just left him makes no sense to me. It makes no sense to Elijah. So I think it's about time Aiden. You open your damn mouth and we find out what really happened.
You guys, I renew this, but Eliza just confirmed to Aiden that him and Jamie have officially broken the engagement. But freaking Aiden! Oh, oh my god, he goes, Elijah, um, he goes, um, blah, blah, blah. He goes, I'm so sorry for what happened that day, for what happened between you and Jamie. Elijah goes, I know. And then he goes, Aiden goes, but you can't choose me. You can't choose me because I can't choose you back. I feel like they're about to have sex in a chapel. Um, yeah, I do feel like they're about to have sex in a chapel. Um, I'm about to read and I'm about to find out and I'll let you know what I've read. <laughs> Guys. I just read the old scene. There is old scene, just like Ty and Bobby. These two had old scene. And holy shit, was it hot. That's all I'm going to say. I'm just going to leave it at that. There's nothing else I can say. Okay. I've got my apple pie, but I was like to find out. Elijah just told, because uh, Aiden was feeling like after the whole thing, Aiden was like, he felt sad. Like he felt it was his fault that Jamie and Elijah broke up. And Elijah goes, um, uh, it's not your fault. But he goes, oh, you two would have been still together if I didn't kiss you. He goes, we wouldn't have. We, w we wouldn't still be together because I cared about him too much to fake a life where I still wasn't, where I fake a life. Where I wasn't still in love with you. <laughs> oh my god. And then, and then, um, Aiden goes, I love you too. But Elijah goes, Do you? And then he goes, You left, Aiden. Why would I thought you still loved me? He's still breaking my heart. You guys, these these uh, these what if games Elijah and Aiden play? Why is it that every single time it gets hotter and hotter? They have no right to be this hot. Cause I, I'm starting to feel hot, and that's not because it's a cold morning here in Australia. But it's about that. Uh, am, I, am I like, I'm like more than halfway done and they just, these both, they just can't let me enjoy the moment, they keep reminding me, one borrowed time, one borrowed time, I fucking know you're on borrowed time, stop reminding me, I don't need to remind it, I just need you to just, just, just do it, I just, oh my god, oh my god, you guys, Sean and Zenny. Have four kids, three daughters, one son. Also, can we just appreciate Sean just found out about Elijah and Aiden, and can we just appreciate how protective Sean is of Elijah? Oh my god! I'm so happy for Sean and Zenny. Once again, they mentioned Tyler and Poppy, but they didn't mention anything about their child, like in the epilogue, like. Did they have a child? Did they lose a child again? Like, what's happening? But Sean did mention Tyler and Poppy. And I'm very happy. Also, I'm intrigued by Ryan. Sean was mentioning Ryan, but I know Ryan does not get a book. So, sus for you, Ryan. But I am intrigued by you because apparently he is like the worst version of uh, Aiden. You guys, Father Jordan just told, um, Aiden to tell Elijah that you should not have secrets from a man you love. So I think chapter 42, and I think in the beginning it did warn me, chapter 42 does talk about depression and suicide. So I think Aiden is finally about to open up to Elijah. Only 303 pages later. I, I, I know I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. Aiden and Elijah have no right to be this heartbreaking. I give him no right. You guys, I would just like to point out, I was in a romance. 
high because I just watched My Fault, the Spanish movie, you know, the Wattpad book girl said the movie. Ah, that movie. First of all, watch it if you haven't because Nick and Noah. So I was like, you know what? I want my, more romance. Anyway, so I want more romance. I was like, let's pick up, pick up Saint. Why I thought that was a good idea, I don't know. Because now I want to die. Because everything... Even Elijah in London. It's like, they stop for a day at London before they go to the next stop. Which I'm pretty sure it's like... Saint Columba, Col I don't know. And they're playing the water game. They the whole day they were on a date with each other. They went they were in like stole kisses and rooftop bars, museums, art exhibitions. They just explored London together. And Eden was about to tell Elijah, but and Elijah sensed that. And Elijah knew as soon as Eden tells him, everything's gonna change, right? So like. He goes, you're kissing me like you're ready to say goodbye. And then in goes, Elijah. And Elijah goes, no, not tonight. Please, whatever it is, it can wait. It can wait until we're cold and gloomy tomorrow. It can even wait until we get home. But tonight, I just want our what if. Tonight, I just want, I want. And he can't finish the sentence. And then at night time after they've done, they were saying it multiple times. Eliza starts crying and all Aiden does is hold him because their time is coming because the next stop is the last stop. I've got this much left and I don't know what to expect but these two, they're freaking breaking my heart. And the high, like, you know the giddy romance high I was because of my fault? Now I'm like depressed. But like addictive cry, like I need more. Like I need more. Hey guys, this is from Elijah's notebook. He goes, It'll be easy to say that I'm only a visitor in his life, but truly, this patient, petulant, vulnerable man is only a visitor in mine. I'm not okay. I'm not okay. You guys! That's why Elijah is so sweet with Aiden. Aiden just called him so he goes, um, um, I'm not qualified for that. Like, to, Elijah's asking, why aren't you, why didn't you become a priest? He goes, I was a catastrophic of a person until I became a monk. And he goes, you weren't a catastrophic of a person. I love the person you were. And I, and I think I might love you even more now, which I wouldn't have thought possible before. But here we are. That's all I have to say. And I don't have words to describe how much emotional these two are making me. I guys oh aiden just opened up to elijah about his depression turns out he's had it for 15 years since lizzie died since his sister died he's had it but it never it was just there like he was battling with it on his own like it he it didn't make him want to die but then his mother died which we saw in Senna. And that just made it worse. And a year later, like that night, he, he had a fight with Elijah and he just, that voice in his head, like he couldn't take it. He was gonna trigger warning. Um, He was gonna kill himself, but he didn't because someone, he doesn't know who texted him a verse from the Bible and it made his whole life change of like this God who can save him like he needs someone to save him and it'll be god who'll have him if the world won't have him because the world they'll keep him safe and the world can't i don't know Eliza's reaction to all this yet because i haven't read it oh my heart my heart's breaking he doesn't deserve this 
no one does. You guys, after telling Elijah the truth about that night, it's like a sense of clarity has just gone through his mind and Aiden goes, I can't stay, not when the price is losing him. He's going to leave the church or leave his life for Elijah. But the thing is, we have this much left. Okay. So I feel like something's coming because in Priest, Tyler made the same decision. And when we had this much left, Poppy ended up staging that thing with Sterling and ended up leaving Tyler for a year. Something tells me. Something like that. But I don't think Elijah's going to cheat. Elijah's not, Elijah's not Poppy. Poppy. But I feel like Elijah's going to tell him no. Elijah's going to tell him to stay. And they're going to stay and they're going to be separate. And this is like... Because like, Tyler and Poppy had their separate time. Sean and Zenny had their separate time. Guaranteed, Aiden and Elijah already had their separate time before this book. But I feel like now it's their time to be separated and get clarity. Be sure, sure what they want with life. And yeah, but I'm so happy Aiden shows Elijah. I feel like Elijah's not gonna, especially because he knows that this life saved Aiden and because he loves Aiden so much, I don't think Elijah is gonna let Aiden leave because of him as much as he wants to. You guys, <laughs> nothing bad has happened, but I just, Elijah, so. Aiden told Elijah that I choose you. I want to stay with you. But something about Elijah's reaction doesn't seem right to me. Because they're now... <clears throat> and he goes to Aiden. I want to remember how you look forever. That doesn't sound like a person who's going to stay with Aiden. Elijah's going to let him go. I know it. I know it. I know it. I have a problem. Yeah. What's my problem? You overreact. <laughs> like, look at her. Nothing bad has happened yet, and she's freaking. Okay, fine. Nothing bad has happened. I'm gonna come back. Next clip is gonna say if I was overreacting or if I was right. But nothing has happened. It's gonna yet. happen. Not yet. You're freaking out right because now. Because I can see it. I you can see it. It's not yet. Because I'm having my yet. I can see, I can see the future. I can. I've read enough books, babe. Maybe you know. instead of it's work, I want to remember your face forever. Like in a cute and loving way. No. Like, you know, like I want to remember how you look forever. Like, the, uh, he could see me like. Why would you want to remember someone if they're going to be with you? No, because what if they look really cute and then you, you want to remember how they look? It could be. 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 She's lost her mind. Sir! It happened. You had it the happened. guts. It to happened. Call it's all dramatic. Out. You are dramatic. I feel like I'm dying. <laughs> Is she not dramatic? <laughs> Tell me she's not dramatic. I'm not dramatic. She's not. I'm a woman she, who gets attached to the character she's writing about. Oh, wait, my father's calling. Hold on. I'm back. Oh. I knew it. Elijah left. Dramaticness. Unless you read this book, you don't get to call me dramatic. Mama. And you're not allowed to read this book. Mama. Don't mind on me. You are dramatic. I want to cry. You're dramatic in real life. I'm gonna die. The letter he left for Aiden. He left him a letter that he did. He goes at the end, he literally goes. 
I need to know that you're full of all the joy and calm that you've earned over the years, that you are living like a saint. Maybe that means there's hope for the rest of us to become saints too, in our own ways. Goodbye, Brother Patrick. I love you like that. I love you like this. I love you like everything. Brother Patrick looks wonderful. Hey, right, it's Patrick. No, I say, you know what? You don't get to speak. <laughs> you do not get to... SpongeBob! You know Patrick, you know the movies? Oh, all Patrick's are fucking... <laughs> Goodbye, my dad's here. Guys, Jamie is visiting Aiden. What? I so if he says anything to my baby, we're gonna have a serious problem. Jamie, stay in your limits. Stay in your limits. Why is he? Aiden thought it was Elijah who came to visit. I thought it was Elijah. Because I'm nearly, I'm gonna finish this book. I'm not gonna finish it today, there's no way. I might read one more page and I'm done. There's too much emotional trauma for me. I can't take it. Okay. So I might have misunderstood Jamie this whole time. Because Jamie actually came to give Aiden the article to, the article that Elijah wrote because he wanted to push Aiden and Elijah together. He goes, there's no point of all three of us being unhappy. Jamie, I'm so sorry for misunderstanding you, but you can't blame me. Also, can I just love the fact that we finally got a Tyler appearance, well not appearance, but Aiden and Tyler talked on the phone because Tyler has gone through the same thing with leaving priesthood for love for Poppy and now Aiden's going through the same thing and he needed advice from his big brother and he gave him advice and also the next chapter 54 is two months later and the line the first line is I wake up to see the walls of my teenage bedroom which means because in the last line of chapter 53 Aiden goes to talk to the person in charge and now i think he's quit he's quit being a mom but it's two months later and i don't i don't know if elijah and aiden are together i would think they are but i don't know my heart's being really fast oh god let's read and find out shall we first of all sean 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 i got my daily dose of sean and i'm so happy he is still team elijah he keeps like taunting like in a fun way not like in a bad way like aiden that you broke my best friend's heart and you deserve to go to hell but obviously not those words but like i love sean so much also we just found out so the reason aiden became a m monk because the, the night when he was thinking about committing suicide he received a message on his phone which was like i lift my eyes to the hills and that kind of connected to the Bible and everything he decided to be a mom. And finally, we know who sent that message. It was Father Jordan. Now, I don't remember if we heard about Father Jordan in Senna. But I know in Priest, he played a huge part in like helping Tyler figure out what he wants. And now he's doing the same with Aiden. I'm so happy, I'm so happy. I had a feeling. I, I don't know why I didn't say it, but I had a feeling it was Father Jordan. I was like, there's no one else who it could have been. Thank you, God. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I am up to the epilogue. I just finished the last chapter of this book. <laughs> Aiden, we could, there were Aiden and Elijah came face to face at Sean's gala that Sean's always hosting for his non charity event uh, organization. And Aiden, and they recreated the night they first met, which was also at a gala. And they snuck around and they said the same dialogues and and then they talked it out. And oh my god, Aiden, Aiden goes to Elijah. What if we leave here together? 
uh, what if we decided to try again, the two of us, knowing that it might take time, that we might be scarred, that parts of it will be hard, but knowing we've been through harder? What if we loved each other until we were old and grey? And Elisha goes, okay, Aiden Bell, former monk, I have a what if for you too. What if we started right now? No! <laughs> I just ordered myself a McDonald's, by the way, so I needed it because. Also, I'd like to point out I'm addicted to chai latte. Help me, especially the McDonald's one. I can't stop. I might have a problem. But at the same time, I deserve my chai latte after the hell these two put me together. I thought they weren't getting their happy ending. But yes, all three Bell Brothers got their happy ending. And I know there's a fourth Bell Brother, but guess what? There's not a book about him, so I don't give a rat's ass. But now time for the epilogue. I have to go and sip my latte. Now, epilogue time. Ladies and gentlemen. I finished saying Elisha and Aiden got married and Tyler was the one who got them married and Sean and Zenny have a fifth baby ah this is everything I could ask for an epilogue still no Poppy and the baby but at this point I'm too happy to give a shit now um I'm gonna do the outro tomorrow because I wanna eat my McDonald's and then I wanna do some TikTok <laughs> and watch my shows and I just can't be asked and especially to put makeup on and go in my room and get out of the heater because it's really cold here in Sydney and as soon as I get out of the heater I my feet tend to turn purple because I'm that cold. Um yeah, so I'm so happy. Uh, but nonetheless, I will be telling you my review and the, how many stars I get this in the next day, tomorrow. But for you guys, it'll be just after this. Um, but I have a feeling if you see my reaction and the amount of times I've like, oh, I love this book. So I think it shouldn't be a surprise or you guys should already guess what I gave this book or what I'm going to give this book. But nonetheless... See you guys in the outro. You guys, hold up, wait, I'm back. I just read the author's note. At the end of it, Sarah goes, and yes, if you're wondering, Father Jordan will get his own story and maybe Ryan too. Hello? I, if you guys know anything about this, does Father Jordan have a book? And I know Ryan doesn't because if he was, it would have been part of the Bell Brothers series and this is the last book in this series. Please let me know if you know anything about this because if there is, I want to read it. I want to read about Father Jordan. He's such a he's a character that intrigues me. And if Ryan, the last Bell Brother, gets a book, I want to read about that too. So just let me know. Anyways, now let's get to the review part. Yes, I am wearing the sweater from yesterday, and nope, we're not gonna launch it because I was wearing a cute top underneath this, but it got too cold, and I realized I could not sit in my cold ass room without a jumper so i wore it anyways <laughs> let's talk about the same holy shit okay so if you could not tell by my reactions throughout this video i did end up giving saint five out of five stars this book oh my god it was so heart-wrenching like i felt for both aiden and elijah it wasn't like Oh, I, I, because, just because I was in Aiden's head, it didn't mean I didn't feel any less for Elijah. Do you know what I mean? And I just, I felt for Elijah not knowing that the person his love is, why did he leave? Was he not good enough? Like, all the questions in Elijah's head, I felt those, even without being in his head. And that, that was bloody amazing. And I absolutely loved Aiden and Elijah. And I think both of them deserve the absolute world. Um, and I loved... Obviously, with Priest, Sinner, Midnight Mass, and Saint, there's a lot of religious talk in it. And I love how each book about that. something that I love about this series is that how each book has a different view of God. Like in Priest, Tyler was a priest, so he believed in God. 
and like because it was his job right and, he, and not and he wanted to and he mostly became a priest for his sister and Sinai it was the opposite with how Sean didn't believe in God and how Zenny kind of made him like well no it wasn't Zenny but how his character developed and eventually he believed in God but he also challenged the beliefs and stuff and here I'm saying it's like we see how God saved Aiden's life so I like how there's every different perspective regarding God and I really enjoyed that about this whole series as general also I loved seeing that in this book um also I loved seeing Sean and his now five babies <laughs> I you know what I expected nothing less from Z Sean and Zenny like they're just so ever since I read Sinai yet yeah, they're those type of people to like have like a massive family and you know what good for them I'm really happy for them because let's be honest they're my favorite couple spoiler alert but these two are a close second like I oh my god there was times I just wanted to put this book down I just wanted to cry my eyes out for Aiden for Elijah for the relationship for everything both of them gone through also can we appreciate Elijah not having a toxic ex like Jamie actually being a decent person and despite me kind of like saying I want him to die at the beginning of this book I take it all back <laughs> but yeah I overall I absolutely loved this book um and it's a must recommend must it's a must I definitely recommend this book if you want like something to make you think something to make you emotional and realize every story has two sides to it and it's important to know both sides because uh, yes Elijah was mad at Aiden and he had every right to be mad but once he found out about why Aiden left and that he had to leave because of his depression because of everything he understood like you said it's, it's, it's important to know the story to understand the person and now I knew I know Aiden I loved him in Senna the small glimpses I had of him and I absolutely loved him insane Aiden and Elijah must read go pick this up yeah ranking wise i have to rank this now don't i i'm gonna be honest i think oh dude okay tyler and poppy were good right but i can't put tyler and poppy above sean and zenny or aiden and elijah there's no way so priest and midnight mass they're probably top bottom two that does not mean they weren't good books i did give priest five stars and i did give midnight mass four stars so they were really good books but compared to the other two the other two in this series just got better and better and that should say a lot about the series that you should definitely pick it up because i absolutely i did not i mostly not gonna lie i mostly thought priest like the series is smart it's basically smart and yeah priest and Manana had a lot of smart in it but as you get to sinner and saint there's so much more than smart and i i ate it up I ate the shit up. So yeah, so right now I think on number four we have Men at Mass and number three we're gonna put Priest. Oh my god, which is number one out of these two? I oh, I have to do okay. Is this me being biased because I have a thing for Sean Bell? Maybe. But I cannot I just I love it in Elijah, okay? No, this they are a close one. Like they're not like they're like right next to each other, but like Sean and Zenny are just a little bit. Because I love Sean and I love Zenny and I love Aiden and I love Elijah, but just something about Sean and Zenny just makes my heart like go pitter patter. So yeah, so then this will be number two and this will be number one. The ranking of this series will be for me, number one will be Sinna, Sean and Zenny, and then we'll have Aiden and Elijah. And then obviously Tyler and Poppy in their two books. But that does not mean Tyler and Poppy are not good. You should read Tyler and Poppy. And I definitely recommend this whole series overall. Because of Midnight Mass. Because that's the only book I didn't give five stars. I think I'll give this series a 4.75. Because I want to give it five stars. Because not every book was five stars. So overall this series is a 4.75 star series. It's a must read. Go read it. You will not regret it. Oh, such a good series uh thank you and this and you bet after this i'm gonna read a lot of sarah simone because 
I love her writing. Her writing is so, so, so beautiful. If you want beautiful writing, definitely go check out Sarah Simone because, oh, it's beautiful and gut gut wrenching. Gut wrenching. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed my little two part sinner series. Sinner series? No, two part priest series because obviously I read priest before I was coming back to reading laws. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching me read Sinner and now watching me saint. This video officially marks the end of the priest series and me loving it. Um, but that does not mean it's the end of the reading works because my next video, I'll be starting a brand new series called Ugh, The Sugar Lake Series. I'm so excited to start a new series and I love reading series and I know nothing about this series. But you know what? We'll talk about this in my next video. Um, but unless, keep your eyes out for that. Um, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe, and hit the post notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. And in the comment section below, tell me what you thought about Aiden and Elijah. Did you like them? Did you love them like I did? Um, and who's your number one couple of the Priest series? And is there any more Sarah Simone books you recommend? Because I am ready to dive in into her world because also 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 do let me know if there's a father jordan or a ryan book because i can't find it but she said it i don't know just if you have any updates about that do let me know and i'll see you guys in my next reading vlog bye guys